guys, I'm back from TechGeeks.com with a set of Archier Bluetooth headphones. These are Bluetooth 4.1 wireless. They're the neckband type. Uh, they are priced at $18.99 at Amazon.com, which might be a little bit expensive for what you're getting. Um, I'll show you one of my main concerns is right there, that cable. It's just way too thin. I know that they're trying to keep these streamlined so the cords on the headphone itself, but it's just paper thin, and I just worry that I'm going to break it. And another concern I had was sound quality. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. Um, it's kind of washed out sounding. I think you're getting what you're paying for, but I think they could still be even a little bit better for what you are paying. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, these have noise cancellation. Uh, they have the microphone. You can do all the calling and everything like that. Uh, they also come with a 40-day money-back guarantee and 18-month hassle-free warranty. And on the owner's manual, it says a one-year worry-free warranty. So I'm not really sure what you're getting, but they are covered at least some way. I'm just not sure exactly what they mean by the two different coverages there uh, I'll bring up some of their pictures um, I want to make note that these accents these silver accents are just that they're accents they don't do anything I mean they look good they just I didn't want anybody to think they were not getting uh, not doing something right uh, the charging port was easy to open I like that I like the LED, LED indicator and I really like these power on off switches I think more headphones should incorporate this uh, there's the cables, cords that I didn't like. Uh, all the business pretty much is on one side, all your buttons. Uh, long press center button for to pair. They paired rather easily. Your microphone is also over there. Your volume plus, volume minus, previous track, next track. All that's on one side. I like that. Uh, these do have voice prompt, which I like telling you you're powered on, powered off, paired, etc. Uh, you get the volume warning or the volume that you're at max volume. Um, those things I liked. Um, they do vibrate when you're getting a call alert. I like that. Calls were pretty good. I wouldn't say great. 6.5 hours of playback. I didn't get. I got more than the five and a half hour range. Um, there's some people using them in different ways you can use them. And that's what you're getting in the box. Uh, USB A to micro USB cable. Uh, nice owner's manual though. Uh, three sets of earbuds, a small, medium, and large. The mediums come with the unit. And, uh oh, sorry about that, folks. Um, I, I didn't get a great range with these, also. They claim 10 meters, which is about 33 feet. I didn't get that. I got about 24. Uh, the charging time was two to three hours, which I thought was long, and it definitely took me that long. Uh, when you go to pair, they're going to come up. I think mine came up HV980, I believe. Uh, they were simple to pair, though. Um, but like I said, uh, they're great for kids and stuff like that, you know, that aren't looking for high, perfect-sounding headphones and you know are going to be rough on them. But then again, I worry about the cables. Once again, my, probably my main concern is that, is how thin these are. So I would say buy at your own risk. Um... I probably gave them three stars, just mainly because of that cable. It really is, it's really, really thin. Um, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in the hands-on part of this, and that's about the start rate. Okay, guys, this is the box they're going to be coming in. Uh, there's the HV980. That's the uh, what you're going to be looking for to pair. A little picture on the front. A little information on the back. Um, additional features, VOTE, the voiceover LTE, which I liked. Uh, I liked the 3D neckband. The vibrate call alert I liked. Audible pairing assistance, I like that. Audible battery status alert, I like that. Auto reconnect, that's pretty basic. Um, talk time up to seven hours. I didn't, I used, I probably made four calls with them just to make sure the clarity was good, which it was average. Music time up to eight hours. I didn't get anywhere near that. Standby time up to 15 days. I didn't check all of that. 
Um, but that music time, I, I didn't get that. I got like five and a half hours, to be honest with you. Um, long battery life calls, just I'm going over a few of the things I see here. The microphone. Uh, they're pretty standard headphones, really, except for the fact that they are the kind you wear around your neck. Um, you're going to get a nice owner's guide. Um, it's pretty well packed with everything you need to know. Uh, easy pairing. Uh, advanced multi-point. You can connect to uh, two devices, which I liked, but that's pretty standard nowadays. Call waiting and call functions, how to use the calls. We all pretty much know how to do that. Um, there's a nice diagram showing everything that you get or everything that's on the headphones. Uh, how to answer a call, last number, read out, end a call, and reject a call. Audio streaming, it's volume control, it's pretty basic stuff, but they go over it really well. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, you're going to get a bag with uh, three sets of earbuds. Um, like I said, one set will be on them. These are, this is a small and a large medium comes on them. You're also going to get a micro USB cable, which is micro USB. 2A, USB A. It's a nice length too. Uh, I don't really need all that because I don't wear them when I'm charging, but it's nice to have it. And the headphones themselves are going to be like this. They do have the magnetic ends on them, so it kind of goes in back on its own. But it's not a like really large magnet, so they don't stay put all the time. Um, this is the wire that I'm so concerned about. It's just paper thin. I'm just, I know I will break it. I know it. I haven't yet because it's winter time here, so I haven't done any outdoor activities with them. Yeah, mowing a lawn, etc. But you get this stuck on one, anything, one time, and I think it's going to pull out or break just right here. Um, the USB, or the uh, on off switch, which I like, is right here. Um, microphone here. Here's your plus and your minus. Um, this is your main function button. Only one side's an accent. I should have made that more clear on the first video, but this side is your main function button. Then your plus and minus, track skip, volume, up, down, etc. And your USB charging port is right there. And like I said, it's got a little bit of a flap, but not enough. I can't open it without, you know. It's, oh, you know what? I was actually wrong on that. My apologies. That is actually a screw hole cover. I actually thought it was on that side with those, but I'm sorry. Uh, the USB port is on this side, but it does have still not enough flap for me to get really in there. I wish they would just all use a little piece of extra, you know, rubber on them so you can just flick them open. I know what they want, it's going to be around your neck so they want it flush, but it is kind of hard to open. Um, but as far as sound quality, like I said, they weren't great. Um, they're good for around the house or mowing the lawn, stuff like that, but um, I would say buy at your own risk. The nano coating on this is nice too. It stays put around your neck, I do like that. But the rest of them, you can hear it. It's kind of like a cheap plastic. So I wasn't thoroughly impressed, to put it that way. But uh, there is an LED indicator in there too, which I can show you if I, when I turn them on. And they did have a voice prompt right there. You couldn't hear it, but uh, they just connected automatically too. Because they're, they're already on my device, which I'll show you. They are somewhere in here. Uh, right there, HV980. So the auto connect works, it's very fast, very nice. I like that. But build quality I thought was a little shabby and sound quality also a little lacking. And the cords though, that's the biggest concern right there. So I'd say buy at your own risk. Um, I'll put a link to the product in the video review. I'll also put a link to my website, techgeeks.com. Our social media buttons are there, so please like and follow us. 
and if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you'll get email alerts whenever I post a new video and December 26th we are having a huge giveaway and the only way you're going to find out about it how to win products and how to enter is through YouTube so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you'll find out all the business you need to know uh, thanks again guys for listening and I'll see you on the next one